Hi there, I'm Shelley behind the camera is Sip. Hi. And today we're going to show you how to make a bow from these bed slats. For this project we need four bed slats. Three of them stay whole and this one we need to cut in half. Then with the one half we need to use and with the other half Here's one half that we need to use and with the other half we're going to cut a six centimetre piece off. So we need the half piece and the small six centimetre piece and that's all we need to build our bow. Now we're ready to build the bow together. We need first of all this small bit, the shorter bit and just one slat. We're then going to, play, we're then going to find from this slat and the shorter slat the middle. So we're going to measure the middle. Once we've measured the middle we can take this short slat and turn it on the side one side has to be even with the edge, the other one sticks out and this piece goes on the top in the middle and then we can screw, drill a hole and screw three pieces of wood together. It's important with this bit is that both of the slats, that they are a little bit curved to make sure the curve goes inwards. Then we're going to take this, uh, this part of the bow and we've got here two slats. We're going to slip these slats in between in the middle, one on each side. And then we're going to measure from this short slat 10 centimetres in once here and once here and we're then going to screw again into position. Now I'm going to fix the bow with some string. I've got four places where I'm going to fix. It's here and here and here and here. And I use, I use the string so because if I screw, the bow will break. The string gives it just a little bit more flexibility. Now I'm going to wrap this string around this part of the bow. I've got going to make a loop first of all, like that, place it on top and hold it fast with my thumb. Like that, yes. And I've got to go a bit further up, I can feel underneath. And I'm going to wrap now this cord around it. Nice and close to one another. One, two, I think I'm going to stop there. Then I take the loop and thread the cord through the loop. And now I'm going to pull this one here and it will pull the thread underneath. And when I can feel it's in the middle, it's here now, then I can tow, tie the two together. I need a finger from Sep. He's just going to hold it for me. One, 
two. And then I'm going to cut the thread off. And that's it. So now our bow is slowly to ta is taking its shape. I was just going to give you a close up of where we actually uh, bound the bow together here and here and another one here, the four pieces. And now we're going to just of here on top and here underneath, we're going to use a file and we're going to make a groove in the wood. So that's there where your arrow can rest. Have you got an arrow for me? Pass me the arrow. There we go. So the arrow can sit just of there. Okay. We've also got to make four grooves at the end of the bow. I'll just show you here. It's about one and a half centimetres in. Important is, is the bow is bent inwards and we're going to make a groove just here, about one and a half centimetres down. And we do that on all four sides on these two and of course on these two as well. This is the string for the bow. It's two meters 20 long. And first of all, we've got to make a loop for the one end. So we're just going to bend this round about 15 centimeters inwards. And we're going to tie a knot about here. Just like that. In it goes. So now that loop can go onto the top of the bow and the other knot I'll show you in the minute. Now I'm going to tape the loop and I'm going to put it over here and in the two grooves that we've got in the sides it fits in nicely and then I'm going to pull down on the cord, turn it over and now I'm ready to do the other knot up here. Now we're going to take the thread and we're going to put some pressure on the bow so that we get a nice bend and then we can pull the thread over in the two grooves. We can tie a knot then down here in a minute. We're going to measure first of all, we need at least 22 centimetres between here and the string so that there's enough, enough tension on the bow so the arrow will shoot properly. So 22 centimetres here, we pull down, we hold on tight, then we take it off, tie the knot and put it back on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in a couple of weeks time. And don't forget to stay to the end of the film. I'll show you how I hit the target. Now my bow and arrow is finished. I've just got to see now if I can hit the target.